you guys, it is Subaki Swag and I'm coming to you with my review of Tokyo Ghoul episode 5. Okay, this episode. I have been waiting to see this part get animated because it looks so freaking interesting in the manga. Which, by the way, I am completely caught up to the manga. Well, like three or four new chapters just came out. So I am like eight or so, eight or nine chapters behind reviewing on the manga. But I will catch up and review. I'll probably do a collective review of all the manga chapters that I've missed. So that way I can catch up. <laughs> but pretty much, long story short, this episode, it picks up where the last one left off at where Kaneke had well, was <laughs> about to escape from the ghoul restaurant and he was like having a nightmare of being about to be consumed by all these ghouls and then Tsukiyama comes up and he like wakes up out of his sleep or whatever so he like um Kaneke he was working in the shop or whatever and um he gets sent home early and he goes to check on Toka because Toka was, wasn't feeling well, she was feeling sick. And it comes to find out the reason why she's feeling sick is because she, her close human friend, Yuriko, is an aspiring chef. And she always wants Toka to taste her food. So Toka, being such a good, well, since Yuriko is such a good friend to her, she eats the food even though it can like, make her like deathly ill eating human food. So. But she still eats it anyways because she is so she wants to be so close to Yuriko, which is in turn making her sick and like throwing off throwing her off. So Kanegi went to go check on Toka and Hanami was there with her mom, Ryoko. And um, after they left well after he found out why Toka wasn't feeling well because Ry Yuriko had came to the apartment because Toka didn't go to school that day and gave her some food and Toka still ate the food even though she knew she shouldn't have and Kaneke left and he comes across um, Nishio being beaten up and about to be eaten by two other ghouls and he pretty much saves his life and takes him back to his apartment where we come across Kimi or Kimi and Kimi at first was about to attack Kaneke because Kaneke was the reason why um, Michio is in this state right now because Kaneke pretty much tore him almost to pieces when he tried to attack him and um, he. So <sighs> he brought him back and Kimi pretty much told Kaneke like what was going on, how he couldn't heal himself and she didn't know what to do because she knows that he's a ghoul and she's a human and she doesn't know how to get him food and all this kind of stuff and if he can't eat he won't be able to heal himself so he'll continue to be sick until pretty much he starves to death and Kaneke pretty much told her that he would do whatever he could to help or he'll try to figure out something so Kimmy was went and go get some coffee for him because of course the only like thing that ghouls and humans share is that they can drink coffee and water. So she went to go get some coffee for him when Tsukiyama kidnapped her. And he warned Kaneke, told Kaneke to come and that they were going to have a grand feast together, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So Kaneke went to, well, was about to leave when Nishio showed up on his doorstep and he showed him the letter that Tsukiyama left and he was pretty much like, I'm going to, I don't care if I'm about to die, but I can't leave Kimi in this situation. He can't just go home and lay down while Kimi is pretty much about to be eaten. So he goes along with Kaneke and they find out that um, Tsukiyama wants Kaneke to eat Kimi while Tsukiyama eats Kaneke which is really gross and perverted and Tsukiyama is a creep to the highest level but he's still a freaking awesome character in this series as a whole and he gets better I promise but they have this whole like fight scene of um, Kaneke fighting Tsukiyama and then Toka comes up out of nowhere and starts to help Kaneke fight Tsukiyama and Nishio tries to save Kimi and he tries to fight Tsukiyama and Tsukiyama tears him up and Tsukiyama's goon is so freaking awesome it's like a drill but it looks it looks so dope 
his his kazoo is probably my favorite out of all of them but well i don't know i like toka's kazoo because it is so it's pretty but it's only one like one-sided but we also in this episode we see a flashback of how michio met um kimi and pretty much he he, like they show him and his sister when they were younger and then his sister being portrayed by the man that she had fallen in love with or well, the human man that she had fallen in love with and then of course Michio took him out and then he met Kimi and Kimi was willing to let him eat her when he got attacked by um, Kaneke and she said that, the, that she didn't care as long as he lived because if it hadn't been for her she probably would have taken her own life because literally the day or a few days before he called out to her her father mother and brother all got killed in an accident so she was literally all alone and her saving grace was Michio. so she pretty much told him that he could eat her if he wanted to as long as he went on living which was really sweet and sad so Michio said i don't care like i could be betrayed by anyone but i wouldn't mind being betrayed by you well he didn't say it to her but that's what he was thinking in his mind so that was really sweet and he said that he was going to save Kimi regardless of if it if he got killed he was going to kill Sukiyama because Sukiyama wanted to feed Kimi to um Kaneke so they all teamed up or whatever and was fighting Sukiyama and then at the very end they show Toka's Kagoon which we finally see it for the first time and her Kagoon is so freaking awesome Toka is amazing ah oh my goodness if I could be any anime character, I'd probably be like a Toka or a Mikasa, but that's just me. So, we finally get to see Toka's Kagoon, which is so, it's so beautiful, oh my goodness. But, yeah, that was pretty much the end of the episode, so things are about to get interesting. And also, Toka took a good chunk out of Kaneke, because, and Tsukiyama flipped out, like ridiculously flipped out, because Toka took a bite out of him, and he said, no, he's supposed to be mine. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. But yeah, this episode was awesome. I love Tokyo Ghoul. I'm sorry that I'm late. I'm like two days late, actually. That's neither here nor there. So, as always, for those of you who don't read the manga, I would love to hear what you think is going to be coming up soon. But, as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And this is Subaki Swag saying adios.